Hi! Hi Punks! Um, my name is Mickey and I run Skeinhead, a knitting company that I started in January of this year. I started it because I saw there was kind of like, I used to go to a lot of knitting classes to learn more about the craft really and I went to a jumper workshop and I realised quite starkly it just dawned on me one day that there's like a massive jump between the people that go to knitting classes and then the people online that knit and I didn't understand like why there was no link why there's no like you see a lot of trendy people knit but no punks no skinheads no alternative people in these classes and I was sitting there knitting and the pun skinhead just because I think I just it's you know learning more sort of called balls of wool and that was it or donuts or whatever or cakes and I actually didn't realize what skein was and then I was like oh my god skein skein head and it came kind of came as an idea like that I have a twin sister who's the talented one and I rang her that night and was like look I've got an idea I kind of want to have a design uh, I kind of want to make this company and she's like okay okay we'll talk about it next time we'll talk about it when we see each other because she lives away from me um, the next time we saw each other was in August at an Iron Maiden gig and that's where it really came to life. So thanks Iron Maiden for creating Skated. And we sat there waiting for the band to come on and we talked about it. Her fiance is a does a lot of graphic design, does like web um, developing and stuff like that. And the three of us kind of constructed Skated pre Iron Maiden show. What it is, what Skated really is, is a place where People, like, I think with everything, with punk, with knitting, there's a lot of interests out there that become snobby, become pretentious. Like, if you're not in it for a long time, you're not good enough. And I wanted Skinhead to be the exact opposite of that. Doesn't matter if you've knitted one, like, Stitch, if you've only heard the Sex Pistols, I don't care. You're welcome. You're welcome to, like, learn. You're welcome to join. I wanted a group of people that are alternative but near so you know I'm cool kids really because I'm sick of these kind of things like knitting like punk being overtaken by people who think they're better at than and cooler than to which I'm definitely neither that's really where Skeinhead was born like anyone can do it anyone can knit anyone can listen to punk anyone can play punk so that was the premise of Skeinhead I think that's the best thing about it is like I say meeting other like-minded alternative knitters I have found people that are so similar to me it's unreal and I thought I was like a knobble even though I was, I'm an identical twin I thought yeah there's no one else like me I don't I don't fit in anywhere I don't fit into punk because I don't you know I wear Mr Blobby shirts and I don't listen to Dead Kennedys or The Exploited I like the old I like you know The Clash, The Ruts, Stiff Little Fingers, Black Flag and there's no one around here that listens to that kind of thing and then with knitting I'm not perfectionist at all. I just, I never frog it. I just carry on, 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 see what happens. If it's got holes in it, who cares? And those kind of don't fit into the standard. If you're a punk, you listen to everything, you should be so knowledgeable, blah, 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 blah. you wear the right things, you do the right things, you say the right things. With knitting sometimes, it's a bit more open than punk, I think, but people do stuff to perfection and I don't do that at all. So... I found other people that do the same thing as me, just wing it, have a go, and it's been great, it's been really rad. So that's Skeinhead. In February, I want to say, I launched our logo, the Skeinhead logo, her name's Philomena. I'll probably make another video about why she's called Philomena. There's a, there's always a reason, there's always a, always a, a reason behind Skeinhead. I launched that as t-shirts thinking really I want to wear this t-shirt so I'm going to make it and I put my savings into it um, and it did really well it did amazing like it was, I'm so overwhelmed sometimes by people investing in it I think because I used to be in a band and a punk band obviously and to get people into that was really hard it was a really hard like domain to get people interested in in what you're essentially trying to give and be like, what do you think? What do you think of the music? What do you think of the band? And that kind of image. Almost like a brand, isn't it, a band? And um, people weren't buying. <laughs> um, so I didn't have 
great expectations for Skanehead. I just thought, look, I want to make this t-shirt. I love the design that my twin drew and then her fiance made it a digital print and I was so in love with it. I'm definitely going to get it tattooed one day. I was like, screw it, I want to make that as a t-shirt. And my hair at the time was orange. So I thought, she's going to be orange, Philomena. And people bought it and people supported me from the get-go, to which I'm so grateful for everyone that, like, just even is watching what's going on with Skanehead. I'm, I'm very grateful. So that's, that's what's happened. I've sold out the shirts. And really, the future of Skanehead is going to be more of that. I'm trying loads of new things because I think, why not? Why pigeonhole, and pigeonhole yourself into something when you can try all this other different stuff and Skanehead as it's so much in its infancy I thought fuck it do what you want so that's what I'm going to do I'm making more shirts I'm making more designs I say me I I ring my twin and say I have this as an idea and she's just like okay yeah give me a few months I'll I'll try and work something out and then the image she shows me is so much better than anything I could have imagined that um yeah thanks India that's her name, by the way, India Mercury illustration. If you want to follow her on Instagram, India Mercury. But so she she's drawn me a couple of designs. They're in the pipe works to be made into something else, into like merch, really. And the thing as well, which I've also learned, which I think Skanehead, I wanted to kind of bridge that gap, is I go to a lot of craft fairs, a lot of knitting festivals, a lot of yarn based events. And I realised there's a lot of yarn out there there's a lot of hand dyed yarns but there's nothing for you to like represent there's nothing for you to be to show that you are a knitter yeah you can have your border wall on you the whole time and, and knit or whatever but there's nothing edgy nothing alternative nothing for like young alternative knitters and that's what i keep promoting is it's alternative it's the it's the it's the ones with uh tattoos it's the ones that listen to alternative music i think knitting does get pigeonholed into grannies and who are knitting for babies i ain't about that life i am knitting stuff for me i'm knitting random houseware stuff i'm knitting stuff that's out of yarn that shouldn't really be made with that just break it just do what you want the two people that have really shown me the light that i'm like the conglomerate business of is i got so inspired by knitting as metal that to me is absolutely re revolutionary tony has just got it nailed she she really inspired me and she really helped me too. If you don't know what knitting in metal is, it's a very similar to Skanehead, but metal. So <laughs> if you love The Clash, come to me. If you love Sabbath, go to her. <laughs> like, she just she just has it down. She has great merch. She like She's really inclusive, really happy. Though it's about metal. Her t-shirt designs are rad. And yeah, she's just awesome. So I saw that and took massive influence. And she directed me onto the other person that's helped me loads, which is HJ Yarn, who is... Hannah, that's her real name. That ain't a stage name. Hoda <laughs> Yarn is her stage name. And she um she dyes neon day glow kind of yarns. And she thing is about this different with Hannah than any other market, any other hand dyed yarns that I see, she listens to her audience, she listens to her customers and, and alters her brand on what they want which would you think would be common sense but you wouldn't believe how many yarn events i go to and they just make what they want to make which is rad which is fine but it's all the same and she just changes the game and her, her customer service is beyond amazing and she's so helpful like the amount of times i've messaged her and gone hannah help me with that tea she's like okay and we've like luckily met in person and she's amazing and it is weird because having a twin I know who I am, and I know what it's like to have someone else like me. But meeting Hannah, I was like, oh my God, it's me and another person. Like, I've got a triplet, you know? So I'll definitely check them two out if you don't know them. You obviously must do, because that's how most people find me is them two. But they've helped me and supported me from the get-go. And I don't know if that's because, you know, women supporting women, which is also an amazing thing that I've seen out of the young community, really, and my experience my four month experience doing this is women really support other women like die candy the support is unreal and i think because i'm comparing it to being in a band before and it was so dog eat dog cutthroat and this is like 
what I I thought being in a punk band would be like. Everyone supporting each other, but it's not. It's not. Don't let them trick you. It might have been when the Clash was around in the late seventies, but it ain't now. I don't. Know, I just finally feel like I found my people, which is so rad. So. That's kind of like a little brief description of Skeinhead. There's a lot of things coming. I will probably do a video about Philomena and what she means and go through the, the illustration design. Because uh, there's a lot to it, actually. People buy the shirt and go, oh, yeah, it's cool. Like, I see this. But there's nods there to, like, my favourite bands and, and uh, a lot of little in-jokes between me and India, which is what twins have. And I'm really excited about the upcoming prints, the upcoming merch designs, because they mean a lot. They're not just like frivolous, oh yeah, making merch, wear it if you want to wear it. They mean like the world. They're like almost like tattoo designs with got so many like deep meanings in them that I find it very honouring when people wear them. I'm going to try with YouTube because I talk a lot, as you can tell. I like to talk and I, I put a lot on Instagram stories, but obviously they're only there for 24 hours. So I thought, screw it. Put it on Insta I put it on YouTube and see if people like watching it. I love watching people talk. Uh, it's so therapeutic to me. When I'm on a long train journey to see my twin, I'm going up to London, or I'm stuck here because I'm, I'm based in Penzance in Cornwall where nothing happens. And people look at me anyway in London. So imagine what they're going to look like when I walk down the street in Penzance. People look at me like I've got two heads. Crazy. So, yeah, I love watching people on YouTube, just having a chat going through the different halls or whatever. So this is what this is going to be, I think. Maybe like a, a diary form of the growth of Skeinhead, the development, what's going on, just so you guys know. But if you like this kind of thing, please let me know. If there's anything about Skeinhead you want to know, also please let me know. Um, we post, obviously, internationally because I can't stand it when they don't. And you see something really cool from America and they don't ship to wherever and you're like, damn it. And... My big thing as well is I wanted it to be accessible to everybody. I, like, I know you've got to cover your, your costs and your profits and blah, blah, blah. Screw that. I don't really care about stuff like that. I want to make it so anyone can wear my shirt, anyone can buy some stickers, whatever. So I have, I'm going to have, I have currently, but I will have more items that will have different price points so anyone can sport it, anyone can be a part of it. And that's the point. You don't have to buy anything. You could just have a chat. And that's what we're here for. Instagram is probably my biggest community on there. I find that really easy to talk to. Facebook's cool too. But it's that thing of, oh, I don't know how to cast on that. Or how do you make that to, you know, oh, what's, um, what's the best rock song? You know, who cares? Talk to me about whatever. And that's, that's the point. To make it accessible and build a little punk community of knitters. Because I think it's missing. I really do. I think that's what I'm trying to get skeinhead the niche i want it to fill is yeah punk knitting doing what you want how much of it or what you want in whatever yarn listen to whatever music you want to listen to and it's rad to see that build really so yeah nice to meet you my name is mickey and this is skeinhead's youtube